Mobile police now looking for a man they say took part in the murders of Layla and Tony Lewis last year. They are the grandparents of rapper Honeycomb Brazy. Three others already in custody and charged in those murders tonight. Fox News investigative reporter Brendan Kirby live for us now at police headquarters in Brendan. This has been a long time coming. Yeah, that's right, Byron and Shelby. This is just a horrific crime involving both gunshots and a fire, and we're learning for the first time that one of the victims actually died as a result of that fire. Now, one of the men that's charged now with this murder is Darren Southall, who was sentenced today to 35 years in prison after admitting to running a large-scale drug operation along the Gulf Coast. The other two, Jamarcus Chambers and Terrence Watkins, already in custody, and police looking for a fourth man who they are not naming right now. Now. All three alleged accomplices charged with the February 2021 murder of Tony and Leela Lewis. We're told that one of those men uh, shot Mr. Lewis to death inside the victim's home on Dr. Thomas Drive in the Happy Hill community. An ensuing explosion and fire burned down the home, Leela Lewis dying in that fire. Mobile County Assistant District Attorney Lewis Walker tells me that he can't go into details about the allegations at this time, but says the charges represent a major breakthrough. South Hall has a long criminal history. He was charged but not convicted of a shooting in 2012 and spent time in prison in, on a previous federal drug conviction. In November, he pleaded guilty to the latest offense, a drug conspiracy and money laundering case. Acting U.S. Attorney Sean Costello says that South Hall built a multi-state drug distribution network involving cocaine, heroin, fentanyl worth more than $24 million. He had the biggest operation, the largest amount of drugs that was going through, tremendous amounts of cash. Um, he had a sophisticated operation. Um, he was, by and large, the, the largest scale drug dealer we have had operate in this area in a long, long time. And at some point, probably next week, uh, the three defendants who are already in custody will be brought to court for an arraignment, or rather, I should say, they'll probably appear virtually for an arraignment, and we'll have that uh, as well. Reporting live from MPD headquarters, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.